God always keeps his promises. He has never, in all of the years uh, from he has brought man into existence, God has never negated on his promises. Um, he says he will keep his covenant. He will keep his promise that he has made to man. So the fallout is never in God. In fact, in 2 Corinthians 1 and 20, it says that all the promises of God are yea, they are yes, and in him, they are amen for the glory of God. So God keeps his promises. And this is why I want to encourage you today. Because if God has ever made a promise to you concerning anything in your life, God is faithful and he's just. And he's going to fulfill every promise that he has made to you. Now, here it is, beloved. You are now have to assess, praise God, what promises you made to God, what covenants or vows you have made to God, and maybe when you fell down on those promises or those uh, agreements that you made to God. And if you if you if you've made something and you fell out with it, then God is trying to say today to renew your vows, to renew your your covenant with Him. Because he is a covenant keeping God. He keeps his promises, what? Yea, even to the to the thousand generation. God does not change his mind. And that's what I'm praying for you today. In this season, in this time of the year, we're preparing for 2024 and, and beyond. Because I believe as we're going into this new year, praise God, you're closing the chapter to this old year, to the old seasons. You want to be able to step into the new year, praise God, with with strength and with power. And in order to do that, you have to know what the promises of God that he has made to you. In fact, in Jeremiah uh, 29 and 11, he says, I know the thoughts I'm thinking about you. I, I know, I can remember very clear the promises I made to you. And these were promises of peace and not evil. And I intend to give you an expected end. God is thinking big about you. But as we're going into 2024 and, and, and beyond, you, beloved, have to read check your promises, recheck your covenant. What has God told you to do and you've not yet done it? What word has God spoken to you and you fell down or fell out of it? God is calling you back to renew your covenant with him. Praise God. And to come back to the place of spiritual strength and fortitude. So I speak this over you today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I break every demonic. Come again. I pray for you real quick. I break every every evil powers that is working against, praise God, the divine will and promises of God in your life. I destroy the wicked plans of the enemy to cause you to become, to become so discouraged that you're not walking in the place of the promises of God. And I release the spirit and the anointing of a divine activation upon your life right now in the mighty name of and deactivate the de demonic covenants, the demonic words, the demonic arrows shot against you. And I activate, praise God, in the realms of the spirit, the promises and the covenant that God has made concerning your life. Rise up right now. Begin to walk in it, beloved. Rise up right now and begin to pursue the will of God. Listen, we want you to come and be with us right here at BFOMI Global. We're here in South Florida. Praise God. Be less than 15 minutes away from uh, Broward Airport. Praise God. If you want to come and cross over with us as we get ready to close this year, December 28th to the 31st, we're starting a revival. Praise God. We feel as though we've, we've been in revival, but we know, praise God, this one is crucial to your crossing over. Who you cross over with is important. How you cross over, praise God, is even more important. So we want you to come be with us in our New Year's as we close 2023, entering 24, our New Year's revival. We want you to be a part of this move of God. We want to put oil on you. We want to lay hands on you. We want to prophesy to you. We want to deliver you and cast every demon out of you that you know for a fact you cannot carry into 2024. I love you. I'm praying for you. Remember, God will keep his covenant. He will keep his promise. He's just waiting on you to step up to the plate. I love you. I'm praying for you. Shalom.